Hey everyone, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games on YouTube. Today's video is another uh, developer diary video on a new game that I just started. The game that I mentioned a few days ago in one of my other videos uh, is, a, is a 2D platformer game. And over the past, uh, the past day or so I was, I was considering how to do a developer diary video. Um, I'd done them before on, on Killer Shooting Sniper X and, and sort of recorded as, as I went along. Uh, but what I did was actually talked as, as I was making the game itself, and I might continue this so that I, as as I have time. And um, but I want to make these videos a little bit smooth. I don't want to sort of like just sit around and, and you see me like humming and ahhing and trying to figure out how to do code. So uh, I'll have a think about that. But what I might do is what I'm just doing now and basically showing you like an update as the game goes along. I won't publish these videos until the game is actually live, so that you guys can you guys can have a playthrough and see see uh, you know how it kind of progressed anyway. So, uh, but I hope you enjoy this series of videos. And uh, today's date, I believe, is April the nineteenth, two thousand. Sorry, April seventeenth, two thousand thirteen. And it's kind of late in the morning now. Actually, no, this is early. It's now just crossed over to the eighteenth, and it's uh, so it's it's zero 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 hours, and that's kind of early for me actually. Usually, I'm doing these things at three in the morning. So, but this is the game so far anyway. Oh, I've just called it two D platformer uh, game at the moment. I'll come up with a better name later, but uh, you know, usually what I do in my projects is I just put a basic name and then add a add a better name later after I've figured out what the game is and then also kind of thought a little bit about the marketing because obviously keyword and SEO is extremely important as I've mentioned in my other videos so people are likely to find the game more if you're using some good keywords in the title so that's why I don't choose the title in the beginning for those two reasons so but let me let me play this quickly hopefully it's not too slow the frame rate is hopefully smooth with the with the software in place um, at the moment, it's just this little square character, and uh, you know, I've added some physics to him. I can move him around. Uh, this basically here on the bottom left would be a joystick on the mobile device, like an iPhone. So you'd have one thumbstick to move left and right, and then this big one here on the right is the jump. So you can see this is a very early version. I've just put placeholder work in here, um, so I'm using the keyboard. But the the goal in this game is basically to um, wow, it's hard. You might see some of the inspiration of where this game. He came from. The goal is just to get from one side of the level to the other and, and don't die. That's that's pretty much it. And there's a timer oh, on the top left there. Um, and you can see the best time. You can see the current time. So there we go. I've made it to the other side. There we go. Level complete. And uh, let's go to the next level. I'll, I'll go to level one. I've got a level selection screen in there, a basic one just set up. Um, so the goal is just to get from one side to the other. You can double jump in this game, and you can jump off walls as well. So that that was something that I kind of found out through. Just uh, I, I know I wanted a double jump in there, but I just played around and then found out that double jumping uh, was already kind of in the code, and I, it was uh, something that just happened. And then I, I didn't have to actually code that. I had to like restrict it because at the time I was just jumping forever. You could just jump forever, so I had to cap the double jump. But a double jump, if anyone's not sure, I've just done one tap, two taps. There you go, so it goes high. But after that, after the second tap, you can't keep going higher. So the double jump is cool. The other thing that you can do is you can jump off walls. And I'll give a demonstration here without getting killed. So there you go. As I'm just holding down my keyboard here, and because we're in Unity, I'm using my keyboard. I'm not using a mobile device. And if you jump, you can actually move up the walls as well. And you don't slide down, so that's hopefully a little bit of a different mechanic compared to um, compared to say like other platformers. I did get some inspiration from this game from Super Meat Boy, which is um, which is a very very cool game on Xbox Live, and I think it might also be on PC on Steam possibly. Uh, so I definitely recommend checking that game out. But I've also got inspiration from old platformers, obviously things like Mario and Sonic and, and I haven't played, I never played Mega Man but that was an inspiration as well just through watching the videos of Mega Man. So, oh, I've fallen down here. Uh, the other thing that you can do is I'll demonstrate is you can jump off ceilings as well, um, like this, like so. Now if you, uh, if you jump, if you let it go too long and you can't reach again then you do fall down and then you respawn and it goes back to zero. So this is the game so far, you know, it's uh, it's going pretty well, I think. It, I found this really fun, and one of the things that I'm trying to do is make the uh, make the 
the mobile device feel right. What I mean when I say feel right, I mean the controls have to be very fluent and easy to uh, easy to move the character around and just and, and don't feel challenging. I, I think that's one of the things that I've got to really focus on in this early stage is making this this game just feel right. You know, uh, just does it feel good to control this? It, a few actually yesterday, what I had is I had this character. Uh, wow, I'm, I keep on getting killed here. Eesh. Yeah, God damn it! What I keep on doing is I keep having. Uh, sorry, yesterday what I did was the character was the camera was much more zoomed in to the character, so the character was a lot larger. He also couldn't jump for it as high as he can now, and he also couldn't move as fast. And um, what I did was I played with the controls, and and I recommend everybody everybody do this in your games because I think control and the feeling of moving a digital character around in the world is uh is prime you know that's that's the main thing does it feel good uh, to move this this digital thing around the screen you know does it feel fluent easy so i actually increased the jump height and you know and and the 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 left and the right speed as well so how fast you move left and right and it felt a lot better like immediately immediately it felt a lot better to do this and it's uh, so that was something good to play around with just just sort of you know touching the controls and the uh, the level design just to talk about that as well is something that I've not thought about very much just yet I, I'm kind of from I from what you can see this is just sort of me putting things together and I've just put three levels together quickly so that I can you know do the level select screen and, and build this best time thing that you've got here on the top left and yeah just start to play with it and see what feels right now this game is it is a niche game it's going to be for the gamers who are like myself who really enjoy a challenge and are fans of the 8-bit 16-bit oh, platforming uh, platform era so that's really where it is I, I don't think you know not to be stereotyping again but I don't think the target really is girls for this game it is quite difficult not to say that girls aren't good at games, but from just from my experience, it's generally guys sort of you know around my age that would find this a lot more interesting than than uh, uh, than girls would. So, uh, and that's another thing here I just found interesting. I'm able to jump clean over this thing, uh, and I don't think I could do it on mobile. So that's something I've got to check out and uh, see what's going on there, because on the mobile I don't think I could make that in one jump. So, you know, making sure that the mobile and, and all devices uh, react the same as well is obviously very important. Um, you know, so you have a consistent, uh, a consistent uh, gameplay experience. Uh, on the level design as well, uh, what I've tried to do is, is make these levels short. And what, what I will do, obviously, I've, I only have three levels in there right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is make these levels very short. Very, very, uh, so that the, the difficulty is high, but the frustration is low. So you don't have to jump around for two minutes and then all of a sudden you die and then you go right back to the beginning because that's, that's very frustrating, I think. You know, I think to have these levels completed within a time frame of, you know, maybe a maximum would be 20 seconds or something like that, I think is, is a good target. So as you can see here, this level is really short. I might make this a little bit bigger. But the second thing I wanted to do as well is make the level, uh, make the player have the ability to complete the level in, in, in several ways to get the better time. So here I'm jumping, well, trying to jump right over the top. Why? Oh, anyway, you can double jump right over the top of these guys. So just to demonstrate. And then you can also go underneath like this, you know, because uh, you've got that sort of double jump midair ability, which might be a jetpack or something. Or I may just leave the character as a block, you know, uh, and then just publish and then reiterate, iterate it. Get some feedback from the players, see what they like and see what they didn't like, uh, and go from there. So, you know, but I think the time thing is, is a major element in, in the replay value of it as well, is, is you can complete these levels, fine, but where's the replay value? If I, if I post, or sorry, if, if I develop 30 levels and continue developing like 100 levels for this game, then uh, the player can just go through and complete them. You know, where's the replay value? And the replay value in this case is in the fact that we have a time, uh, best time up here. So I found myself playing this like quite a lot, which is which is a very good sign. If if I'm, I'm usually quite picky about games, and I and I honestly don't play a lot of my own games very much unless I'm developing them. But I have found myself picking this game up uh, just to play it. You know, just just to try and beat my time. 
and that's a very good sign because I'm usually quite picky even with my own games. Uh, and I know some are better than others, and, and, and a lot of fans, a lot of players of the game tend to like the game more than I do. So that's already a good sign. So the replay value, as I said, is really in this, this time thing here. And, and you have that in, say, Angry Birds or, or Angry Birds Space, I think, where they have the three stars. So, but once you've got the three stars, then that's it. You know, you don't really have to do much more. At least I don't think. I, I don't play many, much Angry Birds. But beating your time is something that I've always, uh, you know, always tried to uh, do in games. Um, I remember even playing Sonic the Hedgehog when I was a kid and, and trying to beat my 29 seconds on Sonic 1, level 1. 29 seconds or 28 seconds, I think. Tell me if anybody has beaten that. I probably have, yeah, but I'm sure the best time I ever got was 27 seconds. I don't remember. I've not seen a speed run for that in a while. But I'll show you another way to get around this level here. And, um, you know, you can, for example, like here, like we're doing this wall thing, you can go under here, underneath, and then boom, hit the, you know, the end level uh, place, which, which means that you completed the level. So... But trying to do it fast is, is something that's kind of interested me, and I'm going to... There you go. Oh, there we go. So I did that fast, and you, whenever you touch a wall, you have the extra boost. And it's okay. That was something that just, you know, being able to jump off the ceiling like this and being able to sort of slide down walls like I'll do here, like this one, that was something that just came through practice... Not practice, through a bit of a experimentation, just playing around with the code and the forces. Uh, when I say forces, what I mean is the, the, uh, the rigid body, the... Uh, the physics, the physics of this little, you know, bit character. I might call him Bit, because I actually had a, a bit character in, in Line Jump Run X, and I might start to expand on that character a little bit. He's kind of a robot character, and his name is Bit, so maybe I'll expand that a little bit. And this one's kind of a difficult challenge as well. You can see here on this bottom part, this guy doesn't kill you yet, but I've started to add in sort of a, a spike track, and I'm just using squares right now. This is all... The, the terms of the game design right now, what I'm thinking is just having having these squares and really have it to be kind of old school and see what the reaction is. Now, it might not be very um, sort of aesthetically pleasing and, you know, sort of visually. Oh, sorry about that. But I think I think if the gameplay is tight, then, then people will enjoy this and hopefully... Eh, I couldn't decide... And hopefully, you know that uh, the, the the lack of graphics might might uh, might not be a problem. Who knows? But I might update this as we go, and and I'm sort of considering to make this a, one of my longer games because I've usually had like very short development cycles. But we'll see how that goes. And uh, I'm going to add in more things like these. You know, some of the levels, these uh, circular saw things are going to move up and down and across and have platforms and lasers. Um, and I'm going to expand on this as well. I'm not going to reveal too much right now, but I have some ideas in mind on, on what to do in this game. And hopefully, it will just be a, it will be one of the a game that that people enjoy and that they keep coming back to, and there's a lot of replay value. But hopefully, what I want to do for 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 the business Cobble Play, which is the development uh, side of things, is I'd like to make a game where it it's it's a, a game that goes on for a long time which I continually update you know we add more things to it more artwork more levels more features and I, I don't have to sort of break my attention between 20 games because right now what we have in Cobble Play is we have um, a business which is fine and it's providing and, and um, it, it's stable and, and that's great so we can spend more time focusing on developing deeper games now rather than just producing games fast which you know start to bring in some some cash flow for a new business, obviously, that's like a, such an important thing, and and so that's obviously a focus in the first, maybe the first in the early stages of develop of business, perhaps. But uh, I really want to focus on something which has, you know, which is uh, has more depth to it. Let's say. So ugh, I'm trying to get around this, and so you can see there's different ways to get around this level as well, and you know maybe I'll limit that. Maybe other people will figure out. Oh, you can go underneath here, um, you know, go sort of below these lollipop things. And or maybe others will just try and go around the top, you know, and, and they'll try and they'll try and bounce around, and maybe that'll get a ah, faster time. So, um, anyway, that's that's pretty much it. I think I'm gonna leave the code. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I, I'm gonna post this one uh, maybe in a couple of weeks after this game is published and keep it in a series. Uh, you know, the code side of things, uh, I could explain maybe a little bit more in in 
later on and just talk about like this character object here if I zoom in. Uh, this little guy, he's got a rigid body on him, he's got a, a, a box collider and, and these floors and so on also have box colliders here as you can see. And that allows the physics to actually interact together like he can stick to the wall and I'm using forces. But I'll, I'll talk about that in a later video and I might also do sort of the, the, the uh, um, as I'm going along, do a video where I'm actually developing and talking at the same time. So long as I have, as long as I know what I'm doing, then the video shouldn't be too, you know, they should keep a good pace and hopefully it won't bore anybody to death just because I'm sort of scratching my chin trying to figure out what to do or how to solve a problem. It might just be level design. But anyway, you know, stick around for the next video uh, and drop any comments down below. Please like, subscribe, definitely check out the game once it's live, of course, and our other games that really supports us. Also give a rating to the game as well because that's, one, it's great feedback, and two, it does support us as well. So anyway, for now, everyone, check it out the next video and have a good night there. Bye-bye.